Hi, this is Natalie Rydstrom from sbrpicks.com. It's Thursday afternoon here at SBR headquarters and Lee Phelps is joining us now, which can only mean one thing or possibly three. Let's hear the big three tips he has for us over the weekend. Lee, have you got something good for us brewing for this weekend? I hope so, yeah. We've not been doing too bad on these, actually. I seem to be doing better with the goal scorers than anything else. So I've picked a goal scorer in the Premier League this weekend. Um, only one Premier League match because of the FA Cup quarterfinals. And it's a London derby, QPR versus Tottenham. Mm -hmm. uh, in truth, I'm not quite sure which way the game's going to go because QPR are really desperate for points to stay up. Tottenham are really desperate for points to finish in the top four. So I, I probably wouldn't be drawn on the actual match itself. But I do think both teams will score. Tottenham haven't kept a clean sheet in 11. And uh, QPR are always likely to score and concede. Um, I'm going for a goal scorer on the QPR side of things here. And it's Charlie Austin. He's, uh, he's been scoring most of their goals this season, in fact. Uh, 15 from 24 he's got. And they've only scored 28 goals in the league. So any mathematicians out there will know that that's more than half of QPR's entire goals tally for the season. He's priced up at 3.3, 23 to 10 to score in this game. So... That's my first one, Charlie Austin to score for QPR. OK, fantastic. Well, you're good at your goal scoring market here, so uh, I like that pick. Uh, what else have yeah. you got for us? Um, Spain, um, looking at um, Athletic Bilbao versus uh, Real Madrid. You know, Real Madrid are in a, in, a, in, a, in a funny place at the moment. Um, just when you think they're just getting back on even keel, they go and draw 1-1 at home last weekend, which you know, just gives Barcelona that little edge in. And you know, they have to be careful they don't drop too many more points. Um, they're very short this time. You know, you're looking at 1.5 from to win Athletic Bilbao. Not something I want to be touching. Uh, but what I thought was, you look at their that their um, recent away form, and they have been keeping more clean sheets, but they're always liable to concede a goal. Bilbao have been scoring goals at home, uh, and when you look at Bilbao's performances this season, they've lost to Atletico Madrid but scored. They lost to Barcelona but scored two. So I'm going to go for a uh, Real Madrid win. I think that will happen. But mm -hmm. both teams to score in this one, 3.1. I okay. like that. All right, both teams to score there. Uh, so we've had a tip from the Premier League, tip from La Liga. Where does your third tip come from? Germany, Bundesliga. Uh, Borussia Dortmund, of course, were in all sorts of trouble at the uh, first half of the season. I, mean, I think we talked on a couple of occasions about whether they could possibly go down or whether they'd have this uh, latter season surge. It looks like that's what they're doing. You know, they've picked up 13 points since the winter break, which is actually only two fewer than they picked up for the entire first half of the season. They've also scored 13 goals which is one more than the previous 16 matches. It's incredible. So they're, they're starting to get going now. They've got a big Champions League game coming up as well. Um, they're looking for their 700th Bundesliga win, and I think they'll get it at Hamburg. Hamburg are the lowest scorers in the division. And the one thing about Dortmund's um, wins since the winter break is that three of the th four have landed the minus one handicap bet, and the fourth of those only failed to land because it was a last-minute consolation goal. So four wins... Three of them by minus one. I'm going minus one again here. It's 2.55. So uh, Dortmund minus one at Hamburg, 2.55. OK, fantastic. And that rounds off Lee's big three Saturday tips there. Uh, if you've got any other tips there for Saturday, I've put a link in the description below, which takes you to our football forum there. Uh, so do be sure to check it out. We'd love to hear your thoughts. Lee Phelps, thank you for joining us today. Pleasure.